Greetings everyone, one's getting around here, welcome back to more Hearthstone, another week another Tavern Brawl, and this week, Six Shooter. Make a six card deck and duel, don't worry, when you're out of cards, you get a free reload. Which, I would imagine, is when you draw all the six cards, then, um, you just get those six cards back in a randomly assorted manner. Um, probably not in the exact same order as you had before, but we'll see. Um, anyways, uh, first thing I thought of was... Uh, well, probably go with something aggressive, because if you're just going to be reloading all the time, um, having some good ones and twos to have a good uh, early game, and then, you know, you can pretty easily with some draw, potentially, uh, just kind of like have a really good first couple turns, and then just win that way. Um, but I decided to go instead with something a little bit different. Um, been playing a a good amount of Hopper Rogue, or whatever you want to call it, uh, even though it's like a terrible deck, uh, because if you don't draw into your Hoppers early, um, you basically do nothing <laughs> for the first however long beginning of the uh, of the encounter, or the match, rather. Uh, so yeah. So, went with the Swash Burglar, tried to get some extra other stuff. Um, I know I tried to stall out a little bit, but then got the Pogo Hopper. Got a little bit of... Um, AoE here and draw, and the Sonya to help with the uh, the hoppers, potentially. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, not the highest of hopes, uh, but just kind of thinking that potentially with less cards in deck and obviously having, um, well, it's, you know, it's one of six rather than two of 30, so easier to draw, um, reloads more easily because basically, you know, every time you draw your cards, you get... Um, the same cards back, you know, I thought about including the, whatever, the guy, the night elf person that shuffles the three copies into your deck, um, just to basically force more hoppers, um, and then I would imagine that, you know, if that was the case, then you would get less, um, in terms of, uh, reloads, you wouldn't be reloading when you just have those extra shuffled copies of the hopper in your deck, so, we'll see what's up, um, Hit him with the greetings. Hey, look at that. Um, <laughs> bottom two cards. How exciting. That's pretty funny. If I get the hopper on this turn, I may play it, depending on what he plays. Looks like probably not then. I'm probably just going to dagger up then. Um, but it looks like he's got some something interesting going on here. Um, I'll go ahead and just hit him with the dagger, I think. Next turn, I might go... What will I do? I could go Hopper and Shadow Step it, get a 3-3 three, three out against his 2-drop, and then potentially play the Sonya uh, a little bit later. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. Alright, so there's that. I think I'll go ahead and do it. And, uh, I mean, it looks like this guy's going for some kind of stall. Because he had like, the freeze and then get some random cards here. So it could be, you know, having a fun deck, trying to do something crazy with random shenanigans. Sorry, skillful shenanigans. And then the stall with the uh, the glacial shard and everything. So we'll see what's up. Four drop here. Or two twos or whatever. Chain gang. Makes sense. All right. Um, we can do this. Um, we can fan and clear. Is that... Really great though. It's not the best, but I mean, we could just drop the double mechs. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and poke like this. I don't think I need to throw out another Anoetron right now, so we'll see what's up. Obviously, if it wants to uh, like make me do the trade, then I can play the Sonya attack in and play the. Uh, thingy, but you can remove it now, too. That works as well, I suppose. And, alright. So he's gonna get some sort of, uh... Okay, cute. Um... Took the K t I could take the 5 here. Uh... Bu -bu 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 -bu. Hmm... I don't want to do this. Do I want to take the five? Maybe not. So I do that. I'll go ahead and just do this, and we'll go ahead and throw out another uh, no, I try, I suppose. But uh, we'll see what's up. Um, that was off the invocation, right? So we've got shard, 
Chain Gang. So a lot of stall here. Makes sense. Ooh, I can get a couple copies. I could do this. Grab myself a couple copies. Um, I think I'll go ahead and just poke right now. And we'll sit, and we'll see what's up. I'm gonna guess he probably has Lightning Storm. We haven't seen three cards, right? No, we've seen the Invocation, we've seen the Glacial Shard, we've seen the Chain Gang. Okay, he's running Fire Ellies, that's fine. That's fair. Um, let's go with... We can we can hit him with a Fire Ellie of our own. Uh, we would be able to clear everything, but I kind of want to do something else. So I think I'll do this. I'll go like this. Um, what are if he runs MC Tech? We'll find out. Do that. Hit him with the uh, the double Neutron. Sure, why not? We'll go ahead and do that as well. Here's the Lightning Storm, right? All right, one one for each friendly totem. Not many totems on my side of the board, but you know. I guess there's always a possibility of one. There is a lightning, so it takes that one. That's the best one to take. Makes the most sense. This guy's pretty good. Pretty good at the Hearthstones. Um, let's see. You can go fan. What would fan be worth? Mm. So there's that one. Um... What's the plan here? We probably go like this, trade some of these guys in. This is probably definitely happening. I actually don't know how many copies I want though, right? That's probably definitely happening. We will play it out to see what we get. Okay, that's decent. Um, I guess I'll play out some of these guys. Um, go ahead and play this out. It's probably going to take my last, or actually, I guess I have technically have more, right? So, we'll do this. Alright, so I have an extra Sonya, so I'll probably give this one up. And, uh, call it good for now. So he's got MC Tech, he's got... Fire Ellie, he's got... Well, that was off the Blazing Invocation. He's got that. He's got Glacial Shard. What else does he have? Hmm. I'm surprised he's not running like, uh... What do you call it? What do you call it? Uh, like Lightning Storm or something. Or at least we haven't seen him play it, so... Alright. Um... I guess we fan first? Doesn't really matter too much the order, I don't think, right? Um, sure, we'll fan first. We'll go like... Let's see, so we gotta go play that. Go ahead and do this. Uh, go ahead and play that, I suppose. Go ahead and make this trade. I guess let's go ahead and just shadow step that one. Play it like over here or something. Um, sure, why not? And let's see, grab anything interesting here. Mm, not super interesting. I think I'll play another one. Okay, that's kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, is this an elemental? No. I guess we get with Zeral. And we'll s we'll sit. Oops. Well, didn't really mean to play that, but whatever. I kind of don't want too many more copies in my hand, so I might be trading this off next turn there. Or you can get rid of it for me. That works too. Appreciate that. Um, we can go with the Zeral, I think. Okay. 
So definitely has MC Techs on board, right? So we'll go like let's do this. Don't really need the copies right now. Um, I think I just hit face, right? Play this. Um, I guess we might as well play a bunch of stuff too. So the MC Tex. I mean, we know he's really good, so the MC Tex will still hit like you know this one or whatever. But um, elemental, out of random elemental, summon a one one copy. Let's go with swipe. I guess we just push for damage right at this point. And let's just throw this chum out there. See what's up. But, alright, so, I mean, obviously against this kind of deck, where it's like, they're trying to go for a little bit of funsy stuff, um, it's obviously, uh, working out, but, um, against, like, something a little bit more aggressive, or something less just, like, goofy, I think, obviously, it'd be, uh, not the best deck to use. Um, the one I'm using currently, that is. Uh, we'll go, like, this... Um, go ahead and just throw some stuff into it. I guess we'll go ahead and just dagger that. Um, I guess we might as well throw something like this out. I don't know, we'll see what's up. Alright, well, this deck worked out. Probably not optimized. More than likely not optimized. I was considering whether I should go with like a Noitron or like Chain Gang. I went with the Noitron just because I feel like, oh, it's cheaper. Um, I think it synergizes. Actually, with a Serenite Chain Gang. Ooh, that's cute. But how does he kill? Right? There's MC Tech, Chain Gang. I guess the point of this is to, like, oh, that's how you kill. Okay, but that's. Kind of curious why he didn't run, like, Life Drinkers instead then. This is pretty cool. This is pretty smart. I can appreciate that. Oh, that's still frozen. That's kind of cute. All right. Um, we did play. I can't remember. If it's what is this? Is it eight damage? Uh, three doll enemies. Ooh. Uh, or we can do six to the hero. That works too. I was like, how much is the AOE? I've never played that card before, so I don't know how much AOE there is. But um, I think for that one, hmm. So I like that deck. That's smart. That's clever. Uh, I'm kind of curious whether he should have done, like, Life Drinker. So what do you have? Blazing Invocation. You know, if I were to do that, I probably would drop the Blazing Invocation, right? You would go Shutter Walk, uh, Chain Gang. You would go uh, Life Drinker, Glacial. That's four. The fire early is plus or minus. It's a little bit heavy. Um, I can see. I guess I can kind of see where that blazing invocation comes in. Well, wait, hold on. So there's shadow walk, life drinker, chain gang, glacial, plus or minus fire early. Wait, hold on. That's wait. So he had glacial shard. He had chain gang. He had the fire early. He had MC tech. Glacial, MC Tech, Chain Gang, Fire Ellie, Shutter Walk. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I thought for some reason I thought it was seven, but then he had and then Blazing uh, Invocation. Um, if I were to do that, I don't have Shutter Walk. Um, like I said, I probably would put Life Drinker um, probably in place of either. I might just get rid of the Blazing Invocation and maybe go with like. like Either do that, like the list he ran, except Life Drinker instead of Blazing Invocation, or potentially replacing the Fire Ellie with the the Life Drinker, and then maybe picking something else, maybe like a two or like an actual like MC Tech works fine, I guess, as a three drop, um, but maybe something for two. I don't know, some good battle cry. What is a good battle cry for two? Um, I guess we would go. Obviously, he's playing Shaman, but uh. Is there a good two mana battle cry thingy? Uh, eh, ooze could be a thing, but um, Gadgetland Socialite might work. 
um, just for like extra survivability to get to that point. Uh, novice, meh. Tidehunter, meh. Kelaseth would be interesting, but it wouldn't really be that useful. Um, possibly Sun Fury. Fairly decent stat line for two mana, right? Well, pretty decent stat line, two, three. Um, but then, like, you know, as you're summoning your Shutterwalks, um, you can taunt them, right? Potentially. Anyways, uh, but that's the deck I ran. Worked out pretty well. Um, I think even if I couldn't play that dude um, that I got off of the Swash uh, Burglar, still think I could have won. Although maybe it was a mistake to try not to play around as MC Tech and not play more of these uh, Pogo Hoppers. But anyways, um, that's it for this week. So until next time, thanks for watching.